Welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 22 on Mali Springs. Right, I've just filled up the trailer. We're just going to go up and top the uh, the chickens up. Because, well, we need to just top them up for winter. And I thought, well, we might as well do it at the beginning of this episode. We need to basically move into January, guys. We've got nothing else we can really do in this month. Um, so, yeah, this is kind of kind of where we're at at the moment. That's weird. I keep... This tractor's getting stuck on the floor. I've never had that yet. This tractor's now getting stuck on the floor. I'm not really sure what all that is about. Right, we have, it turns out, guys, um, in the last episode, didn't realise, wasn't really paying much attention, we have some baby cows, guys. We have baby cows. And yeah, I, I basically went and put a couple of... Um, is that all it took? Yeah, I basically just went and topped the feed up a little bit offline. Just put a couple of bales in. Um, I say offline, off recording. And uh, yeah, that's when I noticed, you know, we got some more baby chickens and ducks and stuff. And when we were there, I, we noticed uh, we have 10 new baby cows. So there we go. So I, I topped up the feed a little bit more. Um, they're, they're all full. They're, they're fine up there. But yeah, overall, absolutely fantastic. We've got some actual baby cows. Some calves. And we might actually be able to go and see them over in the uh, cow pen. So yeah, looking forward to that. You know, I remember us having a lot of calves when we first started this series. And now we're actually breeding cows. So, yeah, fantastic. Just want to go and dump this back in the uh, in the silo. Because we don't... Whoa, we don't really... We don't really need any more grain for a couple of, a couple of days. Wow. And brakes did not want to work then. <laughs> Yeah, um, one thing I have noticed, so guys, we have massively chewed through our uh, capacity for silage as well. Like, we have really, really chewed through our supply. So we really do need to uh, be doing quite a few grass contracts next year. And the only reason why I'm saying grass contracts, guys, is because it makes instant silage. That's literally... There we go, we got a baby cow! Got a baby cow. And another one. Look. There we go. We've got a baby cow. And we've got ten of them. I know it doesn't show all ten, but that's just the limitations of the game. But yeah, other than that, guys, we are, I do believe, um, all done and dusted for December. So hopefully we can just... I'm just double-checking the water before we, we change over. Yeah, we, we are going to have to top that water up soon, that is for sure. Um, yeah, 9, nine o'clock in January should do. Should be a good day. A good time, I mean, not a good day. But yeah, let's see what we've got done. Hopefully, I'm hoping, we, we're debt free, guys. There's no loan payment. There is no loan payments to make anymore, guys. We are debt free and we have just basically made two grand. In profit, just by sleeping. Right, we do have a couple of ploughing contracts. Um, like I said, we haven't really got anything else to do over in January. I don't mind doing a couple of ploughing contracts if we can quickly get them done. I'm, I'm more just. Let me just double check the the silage over here. Let me just. What have we got here? It is ninety-two percent done. And then we need to get them bales moved. So yeah, that kind of gives us something to do today. If we go and do a couple of uh, a couple of contracts, they are literally the only two contracts available in January. But if we do them, and then we look at moving over another month rather quickly, I don't I don't see the point in staying too long in um, in this month just for the sheer fact that we've got no else really to do. I know we bought the plow, but where did I park said plow? Did I buy, did I buy the plow or did I lend, 
rent the plow. I could have sworn I bought the plow. Right. Oh, hang on a minute, guys. Hang on a minute, guys. Here we go. Let's have a look what we've got here. Do you know something? That is... Right, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on. There, there, there may be some wheeler dealing coming along here, guys. Because I tell you the reason why. One, I am a huge fan of this little John Deere 6300. Absolutely love this little thing. Now, I have this, or I had this in the original old school series that we did. I am a massive fan. And it's £8,000. How much are you worth, Mr. Case? And now, I really do, I do really like having this little case. But sometimes it is just a little bit. We could mech. Wow. We could get the John Deere. Have that as the farm tractor. Then we could get rid of the stayer. If we got rid of the stayer, we'd actually make, what, 12-ish thousand pound? We'd make 12 grand. Now, 12 grand on top of our 20 grand is a damn sight a lot of money. When you think about it. Uh, 6 MT will... Yeah, I could have sworn we bought this, guys. I could have sworn we bought this. I could have sworn it. Or did we? No, 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 no. We leased it because we didn't know if it would work. And then we were going to go and buy it. But then instead, we've decided to pay the loan off. It's, it's fine. I know what I know what I'm doing now. But yeah, that John Deere is also a 100 brake horsepower as well. Um, so it would actually make the John Deere a really, really good option for the farm. Because it means we can actually do other jobs with it. It would be on power with the fiat now we know the fiat is not the best at doing a lot of jobs but it does it is useful on the farm yeah i'm i am really i'm really tempted about about ditching the stayer plus it gives us the option to have a different tractor we've had the we've had the stayer a little while and we don't use it a lot so i don't mind a yard tractor being full of power the only thing I've got is I do like having a drop nose tractor for the farm, you know, for the yard. It's better visibility, things like that. You know, like if you were driving first person, like you look at that, it's just a square red front end. You know what I mean? Right, we've got two ploughing contracts to do. Um, field 14, I know, uh, yeah, 14 is the easy one to get to. Now, field 30 is a little bit of an awkward one to get into. And I can't remember how you get into it. So we will definitely go and do field 14 first. I will probably be... We don't have much to do, so I don't really want to time-lapse it either. But if we do time-lapse it, I can get into another, into another episode. Uh, into another day. Like that. I beat them. They all moved out my way. This tractor, though, has now got 21.5 work hours on it. Which kind of tells you how we're going with this tractor. Bear in mind, the first, what, 20 episodes, maybe, were... Um, the Fiat. The Fiat and the Massey. Oh, remember the old school Massey? That was good. Right, so if we go down this way and we get field 14 done, that should be... That should put us in a good spot. Yeah, I don't know what to do about the uh, slurry and manure, guys. I don't know if we should just sell it. Now, we won't make a lot of money on slurry, manure and digest it. Now, manure we can actually use in the... Um, in the greenhouse. The problem is, if I fill the greenhouse full of manure, I don't think we'll ever need any more. So, I... I'm contemplating selling manure and slurry. Now, I do like to... I always want it to be, like, organic on the farm. But with the way precision farming works, that's not an option. Which really does suck, because it, I don't want to get rid of precision farming, because I do like how it works, things like that. But slurry and manure is only going to give us a tiny little... Basically, I could do my entire farm 
and we still wouldn't use what we've got. That's the issue. Let me know what you think we should do with the slurry and manure. Um, think we should use it and just use a little bit of fertilizer, or you think no reaper, we should just sell it and make some money. Now I am expecting everybody to just say sell it, make some money, but. It's also a case of um, everybody... Every, some people surprise me. Some people surprise me when they tell me what they want me to do. Let's have a little look at this. Oh, what's my farm dog? My dog's trying to sit under my legs. So if my driving gets a little bit terrible, it's because I'm having to move my pedals. She wants to sit under my desk. Now, if anyone's wondering uh, why I don't let my dog do that, I've got a Labrador. She is quite a small Labrador. She is a she is a pedigree. She's a full breed, um, but she is she's still a Labrador. It's not like she's the size of a Western Terrier or a Patterdale Terrier or something like that. Do you know what I mean? She's still a Labrador. She's still relatively big. Um, you know, it's not like she's a little. Uh, it's not like she's a little cheddar, you know, a little, um... Oh, what's that dog called from Brooklyn Nine-Nine now, cheddar? Corgi. I couldn't think of the word then. <laughs> I wouldn't mind, but the Queen always had corgis, and I always loved corgis. Just couldn't think of the name of the dog then. Yeah, she, it's not like she's a corgi and could just, you know, not easily fit under my desk. She's just... She's just a full-on Labrador, and she's up. She thinks she's smaller than she actually is. That's for sure. She thinks she's smaller than she is. Well, this tractor is now full of uh, white lime dust. I'm gonna need a wash. Yeah, like I say, I'm I'm trying to skip through the winter months because there's not much to do. But I do want to try and just earn a little bit of money in each day. So if I can do two contracts today, and then we can move over into February. I was saying I was saying January, but we've already moved into. Yeah, if we can move into February, I do believe there is some items on the farm. That I can sell in February. Or actually I might have already sold it. Oh, I tell you what there is, guys. I tell you what there is. We have made a mistake today. We have made a mistake. I have got a vehicle over at the sell place. Um He's he's loaded. He's he's ready to sell. We were meant to sell at the beginning of this episode. And I completely and utterly forgot. So let me just let me just do this field. Let me just get a worker on this field. I have done quite a bit of this field now, so it should be fine. Um, I will need to just jump into this vehicle here. Um, enter there. There we go. If you remember, guys, at the end of the last episode, we did load this up. Now, I am going to lose maximum price on a couple of items. Um, because they were meant to be sold in December, and instead, wow, wow, Nine, including the environmental score, £9,000, £9,000, I am more than happy with £9,000, now if we was to do that John Deere, now listen, here's an idea, because I won't be on Bally Springs, so I'll, I'll have a chance to read the comments, because it'll be old stream farm over the next couple of days if we buy the john deere and swap the stayer we should have hopefully enough money to buy a new field maybe we we should be on the edge of buying a new field Mhm. Mm just want to say that now we would be possibly on the edge of buying a new field which means we'll have but obviously, the new fields have all got grass in. Um, so we would need to let the grass grow. So I think it would be May by the time we could do any work in it. But we can lime it this over winter. We can fertilise it over winter. You know, we can we can get the we can get the the field to maximum yield over the winter months. Now I know people were talking about me maxing the loan out and buying loads of fields. But I, I think in the long run, this is going to be a better way of doing it. We might be able to buy one new field within the next couple of... We can definitely buy a new field when we sell the fabric. 
the, or the material, what you know, whatever terminology you want to use. We have 5,000 litres of fabric on the farm right now. You know what I mean? We have a lot of money to come. I'm just going to park this in front of here. I am going to go and finish doing that plow, them plow jobs, guys. I just wanted to bring that back to the farm. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to be, I don't want to waste money at the moment. I've got nothing else to do in January. Um, but yeah, plus don't forget when we go into February, we're going to be receiving another possibly 2,000-ish pound. The only thing I've got at the moment is my dairy cows. Um, them babies could do with being in that top field. Just so they're not eating all my silage. Um, could do with the calves being on their own. In that top field. But we've got no way of moving them at the moment. We could do with a trailer. We could do with an animal trailer. But I would also like to bring back in the um, the beef cows. The, you know, the Angus cows. The... Uh, would like to do that as well. Alright, that is done. Well, I say done, that, that row's done. Yeah, we definitely want to buy one of these plows. This plow is just, it just it makes things a little bit easier so we can keep the series moving along. That's why my time's on 10. As I say, I don't see the point in dragging out Gen December and January are some of the slower months on the series. There's not much we can do about them. Now, if we turn off the um, seasons, then technically it wouldn't really matter. But I don't like doing too much in the winter months. I'm only doing these plowing contracts because they've come up. It's not raining. There's no snow on the ground. Still need to figure out how to get into field 30. Does field 30 go through six? I think 30 goes in from 28. I'm, I'm relatively sure about that. I said I've got the mini map open just so I can try and find my way in. But yeah, I'm I'm sure it goes in through 30. Come on, car. Check it in George Michael. Yeah, it's not a bad size field either in 30. 14 was definitely a lot smaller. Now, like I say, it's it's not going to be the most speedy episode today. But like I say, we're, we're making our way through January. I could have just skipped January. I don't like to skip too many months. I do actually like to work the months. Even if it's just two little contracts like this, I do like to do something in each month. To be honest, it's to, you know, help pay for the electric, you know. <laughs> Although we could do with getting some solar panels. We get, spend some money on some solar panels and get a nice passive income coming in. That would actually be a really, really good thing. Now, I'm hoping I'm going the right way. I am completely... I don't know my way around these farms. Like I said, I've spent all my time on my farm. I've got to go this way. Oh my god, Reaper. Stop going wrong. Um, there it is. I was right. Well, that is really, really good news for me. Uh, <laughs> it was really, really good news for me. I definitely went the right way. Um, so that is really good. I'm quite impressed with that. This should be harvested. It is. I just wanted to double check it. And there we go. Away we go. But yeah, in the next episode, we'll definitely be in uh, February. Well, I might even change to February at the end of this one. I suppose it depends how long this takes to do. Yeah, but them them little them little baby calves on the farm, fantastic. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, look what we've got. Nine mile an hour with this plow. Yeah, the next thing I want to pay off is the tractor, but we need more we need more land now. We need to be able to I'd like to be in a position to maybe look at like doing potatoes or sugar beets. Now there is a sugar beet harvester mod out there that is you'll have all seen it from my um Camlin series if you've watched that. Um it's a tiny little thing, it's like half a meter wide. But it does do sugar beet. Now we're not in a position on our farm to own like one of the big sugar beet harvesters. I don't think we're ever going to own one of them on this series. It would be nice. But I don't think it is. It's going to be possible. Let us have a look at that. That is looking really good. That is... 21.7 hours now. Not bad at all. 26% done on this contract as well. I'm, I'm still going to have a look. I'm going to get paid from these contracts and then I'm, gonna, I'm still going to uh, look at the field prices where our farm is. I think we need to start going across, guys. This, is, this little slope's a little bit... It's weird, actually. It was fine, but then all of a sudden it's just started bogging down All right, let's try and do this a little bit different way let's try and do it this way it doesn't want to work going up that little hill so we'll do it we'll do it this way Nice if I had more room to turn around. Right, there we go. Perfect. It's bogging down just as much. I know I know I need wider tires, that's that's the problem. I need wider tires for plowing. But like I say, I'm I don't want to be keeping this tractor much longer. Um, 21, 21 work hours, so we've had it for a long time now, this, this tractor. So it's time, uh, it's time we get a saving for a new one, and we are going to, we've just got, our, our issue at the moment is, we, we need more power, yes, um, I don't know, I know that's, that's like a statement of this channel, we need more power, but we also need more farmland as well. And the two or three fields I'm looking at buying are relatively flat. So I know this tractor will be good for them for them ones. And I say the only downside is we need to uh we need farmland and we need tractors. And I would like to try and get my hands on a little bit bigger equipment. Now lately I've been buying the uh, I've been renting the cedars and stuff lately. I'd like to buy a cedar, especially when we've got a lot of farmland. Because I feel like it's a couple of thousand pound a year we do kind of waste. But I don't know if we should. I, I always said I wanted to buy... I wanted to get the little Lamborghini tractor so it could be a little bit like Clarkson's farm. Why, why not? Eh? Um, but I don't know if we should get that on loan. Or if we should just save up and pay for it outright. If we get it on loan, we can get it the minute this tractor's paid for. If we buy it outright, we've got to buy the farmland outright and the tractor. Do you see where I'm going with this? It's a little bit... <clears throat> so I'm thinking once we can get the money to pay this tractor off, we can get the next tractor on finance. That's what I'm thinking. But I don't know. Let, like I say, a couple of questions for you guys. Let me know what you think we should do in each, with each one, you know. Possibly with the stayer for the John Deere. Like I said, the, the John Deere just make the John Deere just makes it a little bit of cash money in the bank. I suppose making that little money on the John Deere by selling the stayer. 
would actually help pay this tractor off there you know i'm trying i'm trying to give you pros and cons of swapping the tractors so pro would be we'd make about twelve thousand pound con we would lose a drop nose tractor pro we gain a hundred brake horsepower con it has a lot more work hours on it pro a lot of you guys love john deere con it's john deere green <laughs> it's that bloody awful colored green um yeah pro obviously we, oh, i've said we make money um pro it would be more useful around the farm for doing other jobs other than just front loading con we'd have to buy a new front loader because we'd have to buy the John Deere one. Um, pro, we. Uh, I, I, I'm trying. I think I've run out. I think I've run out of pros and cons. Um, con, I've got another con. Uh, con would be it would need repairing, so that would use money up um, quicker than what the stayer would. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to give you some pros and cons for the for the John Deere guys. Like I can say, I think I, I think I'm about out of pros and cons. I'm afraid. So hopefully, hopefully you can give me an idea what you think we should do with the John Deere slash Stayer. I don't know. I kind of want to do it, but then I also kind of don't. I could argue about getting rid of the Fiat for the John Deere, but we. We wouldn't make any benefit from swapping the John Deere for the Fiat. The Fiat is 100 brake horsepower. The John Deere would be... I think you can have it go to 105 brake horsepower. No offence, but 5 brake horsepower is not... You know what I mean? It's not going to do anything. Well, it would. It's technically 5% more power, but... You, you get what I mean about, you know, I don't think it'll really warrant doing too much extra you know i mean it's not like he's gonna pull the bailer do you know what i mean yeah he can pull the windrow well the fiat can do that um it's not gonna be any good at pulling the bail trailer because it's five extra power right i'm not messing around i'm bogging down there guys i'm bogging down right that is the uh the two contracts done then guys so this is definitely us moving over into yeah, if you look, there's no more new contracts, hence that little beeping while I'm checking it. We've now got £31,853 in the bank. I am curious as to how much it is to pay this uh, this off, but don't forget, we need to leave a couple of thousand pounds in the bank. We need to have that little bit of money where... We, you know, we've got a bit of emergency money if we need to buy... I don't know, if we need to buy any feed or... We need to just buy anything in general, really, or rent anything in general. Um, so it'd be nice to try and leave a couple of grand in the bank. But it's not guaranteed at the end of the day. It's not guaranteed. Now, I wonder what crop those fields are going to want. I've had no liming... Uh, no. I've had no fertilising contracts come up. I don't know what's going on, but I've had no fertilising contracts this winter. Now, I'm... I'm a little bit surprised at that. I was expecting to have some fertilising contracts. Because the idea was, is I was going to load about 10 contracts up and just go out with the cedar and just absolutely rip into them and earn a load of money, basically. There's a little house coming up on the left hand side um, at the end of this road here the one just up there uh, somewhere there's a house coming up on the left hand side of me and it's got a chicken coop in it and I'm really tempted about buying it and I'll tell you the reason why I'm tempted about buying it but well, one it's got a chicken coop so you know we we'd make money for you know I'm just gonna pull into here Right, look, this is the reason why, if we buy this, 
seven eighteen eight point eight thousand eight thousand eight hundred liters of eggs that's what i'm thinking we can sell nearly nine thousand liters of eggs that would more that would most likely more than pay for the bit of land the only thing is is we wouldn't be able to sell it that's 18,000. So we could buy that for 18,000 pounds and sell them eggs. We'd make more than 18,000 pounds on them eggs. I'm telling you now, them eggs are worth about well, whatever they are. <laughs> but 8,800 litres. I'm, I'm tempted about buying that bit of land. The only thing is we would have to keep on top of the chicken feed there. I don't want to buy it and then just starve the chickens. Do you know what I mean? So we, it would it would use more grain, but we would make more money from it. Now I didn't put the grain in that chicken coop, and I didn't put the chickens in there originally. That was from the map creator. So yeah, let me know what you think we should do with that instead. Then that might actually earn us some extra money. Um, you know, a third thing for you guys to give me a little bit of feedback. Oh, is do we buy that little bit of land and sell the eggs? Do we do the quick math and? see what the eggs are worth value wise because I, I think it's worth it the problem would be is selling uh, the problem would be is getting in there with a trailer to top that chicken feed up that would be an absolute nightmare I think that would be an absolute nightmare as simple as that um, I don't know why I brought the plow all the way back to the farm I'm not I don't need it right now um, so yeah we'll get rid of the plow Let's get rid of the plow. We don't need that plow anymore. Um, yeah, before I before I actually go into February, I'm gonna just leave it in January, and I'm gonna see what you think about doing the the the, the three things for the uh, farm. You know, the tractor, two thousand liters of wool. Um, right, I know I did just do it quickly off recording, but what uh, on recording? But I didn't really talk on thirty four thousand six hundred pound. 33,448. So field 66 is the next cheapest one. I would like to buy 69 first. You have to go through 69 to get into 66 in farmland 66. So yeah, 127 has to come first, I feel. Although saying that, no, I think I'd just rather buy that one because then we can get the grass plowed and and things like that um yeah as i say guys we've had a a slowish day today but we've got loads of little bits done around the farm i still haven't got rid of that texture yet <laughs> um but yeah let me know what you think about them uh, them three things what we should do i i'm 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 thinking and i'm leaning more towards keeping the stayer to be honest right that's now silage i'm just double checking this as we go off but as i say if you've enjoyed this episode guys please hit that like button it does make a massive difference as a youtube channel uh, a small youtube channel like myself at 98 percent. so they're, they're nearly done now um yeah it, it, it honestly makes a massive difference every one like i think pushes it out to like five new people or something like that. i'm not sure on the exact figures but i know it's something like that um, so, you know, the likes make a massive difference. And so do all the comments as well. Oh, that is not... That is not yielding very well, is it? 64%. But for now, guys, I do massively appreciate everybody watching this video. We will be on the old stream farm tomorrow, as it's the weekend. Uh, and until the next video, I will see you all later on.